Hi, I'm Martin Hudak and welcome to Dean and Nancy on 22. Today I would like to show you very simple coffee cocktail utilizing a homemade a coffee tonic. What we will need? You will need some sort of coffee ground, not too fine, not too coarse, something medium and of course you need your favorite tonic water. Ideally you want to combine tonic water with your coffee in the bucket overnight, 12 hours max. Then you want to strain it, make sure it's clear and you have this beautiful brown liquid which tastes like tonic and a coffee at the same time. My favorite ratio is 5 to 1, 5 parts of tonic water, 1 part of coffee. Once you have that, make sure you're going to transfer it into the siphon flask and charge it with CO2 and keep it nice and cold. These ingredients we will use in the end of the drink. So let's start with actual cocktail making. We will need mixed glass and we're going to start with a 10 ml of grenadine syrup followed by 15 ml Italian bitter Campari, 30 ml of vermouth and 30 ml of your preferred blended scotch whiskey. Today we're using Dewar's 12 years old. Now the name of the drink is Black Eagle and I took inspiration back when I worked in London. I worked at the Savoy Hotel and I was really inspired by the old brewery, one of the oldest and biggest brewery back in time called Black Eagle Brewery, which was located in Brick Lane. Now the brewery doesn't exist anymore, but nowadays it is there as an event space and especially event space for events such as London Coffee Festival. That's why I want to combine the history of a coffee and a cocktails and make a drink which looks for me and kind of remind you something what might look like a pint of beer. Beautiful. Now you will need your highball and you will need your a coffee tonic which made in advance night before. Let's pour it in a glass. Voila, that's your coffee tonic. We're gonna top up the cocktail on top. Of course, we're gonna add some ice. If you want, you can still splash a little bit of more of the tonic on top to make it looks like little pint of beer. Voila. Now, as a smoke in this case, I decided to use a bergamot to kind of make this drink more citrusy, more fresh, more floral. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the bubble on top of the drink. Voila, and to burst the bubble in front of guests, you can use fresh orange peel and those essential oils gonna basically burst it. Let's do it. And that's your Black Eagle coffee cocktail highball, enjoy.